Hi, I'm Jen. I'm Alex. And we're coming to you with our next Nerd Block unboxing, which we've been a little behind on them, so I'm probably going to be posting two close together because we didn't do last month's. So it's not posted yet. Um, but we got this one, and it uh, came a little thin smushed. But otherwise, I mean, I'm excited to see it because we switched it because I accidentally let it continue and we were supposed to end this one. Um, we switched it so this one and our last one will be their traditional box. So our last ones before that were gamer block boxes and this one is just the traditional. So we're going to see what they send you in their just original traditional box. Okay, so I'm going to pause at this part. Ready. All right. So we open this up. What? The inside of the box like looks like this. Oh, I see something. And are you grabbing the first thing or am I? Me. So he pulled out what looks like is going to be a poster. Why is it in like a paper towel? Bowl? That's to protect it and keep it from getting damaged. What is this? Um, this is basically a poster of women, and they are all, I think they're all different, like, actresses, I guess. So, here, I'll show you, because I don't recognize everybody, but, Whoa. that is Wonder Woman right there. That's, what's her name? So, that's Gal Gadot, as one, she's wearing, like, a dress that is, like, obviously Wonder Woman and she you can tell she's Wonder Woman. That's what's her name? That's Harley Quinn. And I don't recognize anybody else. I think that's supposed to be Raven, maybe from Teen Titans. Yeah. Hold on. Just a minute. Okay, so like I was saying, um I wanna say that's Raven. Like, um, Teen Titans Raven, kind of, because look, she's purple hair, you know, she looks moody, she's got a Raven necklace. Yeah, that's right. I hit myself with this. I'm gonna guess, so I'm gonna guess what these are, it'll probably be in the magazine, but I'm gonna guess that's Poison Ivy, because she's oh. got like a vine tattoo up her arm, she's got the red hair, green shirt, and it's like Save the Trees, and so I'm gonna guess Poison Save Ivy. I guess. Other than that, I I can't guess who they would be. Fine. So I'm gonna just grab and look at the little book real quick to kind of see, because now I want to see what it is. So oh, here we go. Gotham City street style art print. So celebrate our favorite DC girls. So it's all the different DC girls. Okay, here we go. This is supposed to be. Batwoman? That does not look like Batwoman. That's supposed to be Zat Zatanna? No idea who that is. That's supposed to be Catwoman. Eh, I just kind of see it, but not that, really. That... That... I mean, there's like... If you were to guess, the no... Are they in... Yeah. I would... Yeah. And this is supposed to be Batgirl. You just said that this one's Batgirl. That's Batwoman. Batwoman, Batgirl. What's the difference? Uh, Batgirl's a girl, and Batwoman would be an adult version. She's more of like a kid. Uh, this is Katana. Okay, now that makes sense, Katana. Now I get it. You remember Katana? In, uh, uh, Suicide Squad? Swords, White Mask. Oh, yeah? Okay, so now that makes sense. And, of course... Wonder Woman. This is Huntress. I guess I need to catch up on the DC characters. Um, obviously Harley Quinn, 
I was right, Raven. Oh, I was right, Poison Ivy. Who's that? Black, Black Canary and Mara. Mara, I think, okay, now that makes sense to me too because now that I look at her, she looks like what's her face? Um, what's her face? Yeah, I don't yeah, remember her like name her off the top of my head. Um, there was a lot of drama about her recently. She was with Johnny Depp. Anyways, she's going to be playing um, Aquaman's wife. Aquaman, is that what his name is? Wife. And her name is Mira, so that one makes sense. Is that? So, I guess I need to catch up on the DC girls, because I only knew a couple of them. And some of them, to me, don't make that much sense. But it's just... The back. Alright, so next thing I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick this because it has Wonder Woman on it. I love, well, I wanna see, I haven't seen the new Wonder this Woman. This is damaged Wonder a little bit too. Yeah, the box came a oh. little dinged up, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about, but hopefully the product is okay. It's okay. Is that like a wind up thing? I don't know why. The gear, I saw that like little gear. Do like, you need help? Oh, I think it's, oh, this is really, unless it's supposed to be the bottom. I think that's supposed to be the bottom. Oh, that's fine. It's, it's, what is that? A clock. So it's, it's a little clock. It's a little plastic desk clock. See? With the Wonder Woman kind of outline. So I'll have to set it and probably wind it and... That's okay. Just couldn't entertain me all day. No cat. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's an exclusive. So was that print? Wait. It's an exclusive, but uh. How, what batteries does this use? Double A. Okay, this one. It's um. DC Comics bombshells. Dude. Okay. Ow, that hurt. So it seems like this box is obviously DC themed and female themed, so it's a lot of like DC female items. Um. Open the can! Open the Open the can! Um, and then I'm going to double check, but as of right now, from what I can see, it looks like we may be missing an item. What? So I don't know what's going on with this particular box. Um. <gasps> this is hard. Can you open that? It's like, you know, one of those, oh, you know one of those peanut things, Mommy? Where mm -hmm. it's like a peanut jar and they're really hard to open. Once you open them, it's the fake ones and the things pop out. Oh, what's that smell? It smells like polish, nail polish stuff that you use. So it's um, a character. The bag, the bag looked like it was getting open. No, look at it. It was like this. So it's Wait, Catwoman. Okay. It was like this, but this was already torn up. Do you think someone like tried to open this already? Mm, I don't know. But it's Catwoman, so it's a little figure of Catwoman. There's a bunch of ones you could have got on here. Too bad we didn't get Wonder Woman. Wait, yeah, this is Catwoman. So we got Catwoman. It's cute, I guess. Next thing, I already see that's different than what it says on here. Okay, this box is kind of jacked up, in my opinion. Um, so, it says one, you're supposed to get a book. Carrie Fisher, Wishful Drinking, which we did not get. There is no book in here. Um, we got the poster, it says. Um, it says you're supposed to get a keychain, which we did get. We'll show you in a second. We got the Wonder Woman clock, and then it says a Women of the Galaxy t-shirt. So Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt. That's what it says in here. Yes, and yes. we did not get a Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt. We got something completely opposite of the theme of the box. The theme of the box is Women in DC, and we got... Harry Potter! A Harry Potter t-shirt. Harry yeah. Old Butterbeer Butter Pump Beer. Crawl. See, now, this is a cool shirt. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not a cool shirt. I'd rather have that one than the other one. Whatever. I'm just saying it doesn't go with the box at all. And obviously, this box 
got a little jacked up and we are missing we are missing the book. So um, we are minus one of the items that was supposed to be in here and we got a shirt that didn't go at all with the theme of this box. Oh and but I do like the shirt. The person that delivered okay so they delivered it right? And looked, but it was sealed. Yeah I looked out the window and no one was there. So I think they put it down and ran off. Because yeah, see the theme, this month's theme is the DC women, so it's just a little disappointing that, um, <gasps> and they talk about a lot about Carrie Fisher in here, so that's really disappointing that they even mention her in the beginning and mention the book and they did not put the book in here, so that's, that's a little disappointing that we're missing that, so. Oh, oh, we're puzzle search thing. But do you want to show the last thing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me just go get some scissors. Well, the last um, thing me... is a Supergirl keychain. So, a Supergirl keychain. Which is cool, but in looking in the back, obviously I would have loved the Wonder Woman one. Um, they're making them look kind of, you know, uh, retro, you know, like a pinup girl, like a bombshell. And is, is anybody interested in life? The Wonder Woman one would have been. Let me go You know what? Okay, so final thoughts for this box. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. This box kind of sucks. So switching over to the traditional box or whatever did not work out, in my opinion. I keep it no, on. I love the t-shirt. This is my favorite part. Actually, this might be a little, uh, it's, it's kind of long. But it's just like yeah, the shirt. Sadly, that is my favorite part, but it had nothing to do with the theme of the box. It wasn't supposed to be in the box, apparently. If you look at the little magazine, it looks like it was probably a leftover and we got it. So, I mean, it's a great t-shirt. I love the t-shirt. Favorite part. Just sucks that that's not what the box was supposed to be about. Keychain's okay. I mean, I'm not a Supergirl fan, so maybe we'll do a giveaway or something, give that away. If anyone watching this is a fan of Supergirl, let us know. Um, the Wonder Woman clock is okay. We put a battery in it, and um, it's not working yet, so we'll keep figuring it out, tinkering with it, but so far it's just, and the box was damaged, um, not to mention this box was damaged. Um, this is cute, this little cat woman. I mean, it's cute. And he's still messing with the clock. And then the poster was cute, I guess. Um, I mean, definitely this box would have been geared more towards a female, I think. I mean, I don't know. You like this box full of... This t-shirt. So... And then I'm really disappointed that it talks about getting the Carrie Fisher book in here. Because I like to read, and I like Carrie Fisher, and I like Star Wars. So that would have been that really... Star Wars? Yeah, Carrie Fisher played uh, Princess Leia. Which again has nothing... Doesn't mix quite with the whole box, but it, it still works. So super But it wasn't in here, so that's disappointing. I would have loved to read that. So overall, I would have to say, I mean, most of our boxes have been pretty good and had a decent amount of items we liked, but I'm really disappointed that our first time switching over to this box, I do feel this box was kind of a letdown. So we'll see what the last one is, but break your head after this box, um, I'm definitely excited to try a new company. So, you know, oh, okay. maybe we'll get lucky and the last box will be good that we get from nerd block. We'll see. Oh man, I have no idea what the next box would be. <coughs> I have no idea, man. But anyways, thank you for watching and uh, hope you got a decent box. And uh, yeah, like I said, comment below if you are someone watching this that Wait, likes you Supergirl. Different ones? Yeah, I would have liked Wonder Woman. That would have been cool. Look at her. Batwoman! Batgirl! Some of them are cool. Is that, just... is that Batgirl or Batwoman? Nobody knows. We, we don't know because we didn't get it. There's no difference. But anyways, alright, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.